In this video, I'm going to run through how you can find the Maclaurin series of 1 over 1 minus x squared. And we're going to start by making a slightly odd realization, but it's going to make things a lot easier. And that is that the derivative of 1 over 1 minus x equals the function that we want to find the Maclaurin series for. And as a general rule, when you're finding Maclaurin series, it's often easier to use a known or simple Maclaurin series to find a different Maclaurin series. So if, you, if you can find a relationship between a known series to an unknown series, you can actually take a lot of work out and find a really great shortcut. And this is the shortcut that we're going to use here. If you're not sure how I get this expression, I'll quickly run through where that comes from. So we've got 1 minus x on the bottom, so that's the same as taking the power of minus 1. If we find the derivative of this, we'll be doing minus 1 times that in the front, then we're taking 1 away from the power to get minus 2, and so we'd be getting this expression, but you'll notice that there's no minus here. That's because we need to remember the chain rule. So the derivative of the inside function here is going to be minus 1, so that's why that minus went away. And, of course, this 1 minus x to the minus 2, we bring the 2 to the bottom and we end up with this expression here. So we're going to use this trick, and this requires this Maclaurin series. And this is generally very well known. So 1 over 1 minus x is simply the series, basically the infinite series of x to the power n. If you're not sure how you obtain this, I'll put a link in the description to a proof that takes you through step by step how to get this. If you recognize this, just assume it is true, and you can use that to find this Maclaurin series. So we just need to do something very simple. So we take the derivative of both sides, we get this here. The derivative of this we've already found. This is what we were looking for all along. So all we need to worry about is finding the derivative of x to the power n. So you bring the n to the front, subtract 1 for the power, and you've got your derivative here. And we have already established that the derivative of this is simply the function that we're interested in, and we've now obtained the final answer. This is the Maclaurin series of our desired function. So I hope this video was helpful to you and you've seen a nice shortcut to get straight to the answer. And finally, thank you very much for watching.